Hey there, listener. Welcome to the Deep Share Podcast. I'm your host, Andy Rouse, and for the last couple of decades, I've slowly been opening my eyes to a very different world than the one I grew up hearing about. And the more conversations I have with interesting people, the more mystifying this world becomes. So without further ado, let's get deep. We've got science to celebrate! Demons this out! Off your butt, Fippy! Come on! There is a rebellion in the wind. It will be crushed. Everything I've said is true, it's real. Dinosaur fossils? I'd like to put those here to test our faith. That damn lie, I, I saw them on my own eye! Did I the cues just drop sharply while I was away? We did it illusions, man! None of it is true! I'm not insane! This is mass madness, you maniac! In God's name, you people are the real thing! We are the illusion! Welcome back to the Deep Share Podcast. As most of you know, I've been pretty fascinated by the box saga for, well, since I found out about it two years ago. And now I finally get to sit down with a filmmaker, a producer of some of the most important box saga documentaries that are out there. Uh, So please welcome Eric Edney. Eric, great to have you here, man. Thanks, man. Totally appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I it's love good. the work you've done, man. Ever since uh, Welcome to Hell being the first one with Jim. And yeah. uh, and you did Rajasthan, too, after Atlantis, right? Yeah, I helped I helped finance that and, and get Alex and, and the filmmaker and the guy who was doing all the recording. And Alex edited it. As, yeah. And I think you know Alex. I um, do, yes. Briefly, yeah. I want to get him on as well at some point because Alex seems like a very knowledge, knowledgeable guy as well in this topic. So he does he spent many an hour uh yeah we've 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 had many a conversation about this and um yeah it's it's a fucking crazy story and and you know it's funny that in a way this is kind of um a verification of why i did that initial documentary i was like you i um I heard Michelle on a, on a red ice radio podcast interview Mm -hmm. and um, I was born in Austria. So my first language is German and and I was always fascinated with, with why there's so many words in English and in German that sound the same, Mm. you know, I'm listening to this interview and he starts talking about Atlantis. Right. And how everybody's like, where's the lost city of Atlantis? Where's the lost city? And um, he comes out and he goes, well, it wasn't really so much of a, a place as it was a time period, according to this story. And he, you know, he breaks down the word alt lant ice. Well, that's all the land is ice. And I'm like, OK, that's and then he starts talking about how all the all the countries that have the word land in them. Switzerland, uh, Deutschland, Russland, yeah. Ireland, uh, uh, Greenland. Uh, y- so it, I was like, "What the fuck is this guy talking?" <laughs> and, and I st- and I just and and I just fell down this rabbit hole, man. And it just kept going and going and going, oh. and it led me to those to those to those videos that Sasha put out with Jim where Jim's there in, in, I think he's in Thailand at the time. And he's, he's, um, he's doing the, 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 the introduction as to who he is, where, why he, how this started for him. Mm-hmm. And then, then he did, he did the ring of sounds, I think. And then he did the eight powers. Yes. And, and so, so I'm, I'm just like, like you back then the internet was there was still more at least seemed like there was more the stuff that i i can't find the old stuff anymore it seems like it's been buried or or got censored or i don't i don't know what but i was digging everywhere for this thing and somehow i ended up writing jim an email and if you know i'm a technical fucking idiot and so i got this this email to him i'm like you know dear sir Thank you so much for, you know, the the most amazing story I've ever heard. I mean, I'd already kind of 
and and the guy wrote me back and he was like hey you're the first person ever to write me anything and we we just started this correspondence and he and i fuck man we i still have all the emails man of 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 how it, how it all started we just we just were going back and forth with these, these emails and um and then at some point i said you know if you're in the states man i'd like to buy you a beer or smoke a joint with you or whatever and um it, i don't know i got hit up right around my birthday sometime in like end of november uh so just i got this birthday in december and so um I went over there on my birthday. He was in Hawaii. He's like, Hey, I'm, I'm in Hawaii and I'm, I'm just, you know, kicking it. And I'm, I'm like, I will be right there. I'll be right there. And so, uh, the girlfriend at the time we, we, we got on a fucking plane, uh, flew over there and yeah, I finally met this cat in person and Jim was a character dude. Jim, Jim was, <laughs> man, I still miss him to this day. I miss and, him and I didn't even get a chance to meet him. I'm so like, I'd so, I wish I could have talked to him and I hear stories from Yoke all the time. Dude, he had an ability to piss people off. Like I've never seen <laughs> like he, he had this old story. You know, he goes, he, he, he was always like, he goes, you know, that thing that they got in a wash machine. It got, it, and if you, it, it, it kind of rotates the clothes around so that it closed. Cause if you just put the clothes inside the wash machine, they just sit there and they don't do nothing. So you've got to have this thing. He goes, you know what that thing's called? And I go, yeah, it's a, it's an agitator. He goes, that's right. I'm an agitator. <laughs> and it, he, he was just so proud of that fact, man, that he <laughs> get in, you know, and start to agitate things and ask questions and get people. He, he was, he was a fucking trip, man. I totally miss him. And um, he had yeah. the ability to do it too, because of this, like he was so good with root language. Oh, man. He, man, I bet he was something at parties. My God, with that, that on his tongue, man, he could just like blow anybody's yeah. mind within three minutes, you know? Yeah. 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 He, he was, he was, he was phenomenal. He loved Eeyore, loved the saga. He was all about that. We, uh, we talked about, you know, I've grown a little bit of cannabis in my day and, and he, 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 he and I shared a bond over that. Um, yeah. Likewise, uh, man. Likewise. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. I want to, you know, fucking everything <laughs> EC now. So who knows, right? Who you, know, knows? you can buy weed down in the corner, fucking uh, dispensary now, you know, it's funny. Yeah. It was sketchy shit. Uh, hold on. Yeah, our, our connection is a little iffy here and there, but for the most part, it's coming through good. So I'm glad, at okay, least the cool. audio for the most part. We're a little choppy on the video, but that's all right. We can still right see you. And yeah, okay. so um, for my audience, let's, um, before we get too deep in there, um, let's, I would like to hear about your background when it comes to like, when you were hit with the box saga, were you already like into a lot of alternative conspiracy stuff or what, where were you, where was your head at? when you first encountered the box saga anyway, where does, uh, yeah. How's your, yeah. uh, I've been an errant my entire life, dude. I've been a pirate and a swashbuckler. I, I never, have, I tried to do the right concert, you know, go get a job, go to college or go, you know, I'm like, no, this is all bullshit, dude. This is there's something that this whole fucking system is whacked out and full of shit. And if you guys can't see it, you know, I was the guy, right? Oh, here comes conspiracy theorists. You know, Eric. And, <laughs> That's uh -huh. every one of us that has a podcast now. <laughs> right. And so, yeah, no, I, I just never kind of towed the line. And, and, and I always had questions about, yeah, just how this all. No, I've never been. Um, no, I've never been mainstream. I tried doing it for a while and it almost killed me. Okay. And, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I did it. I tried to do it, too, but it came with alcohol. Like I had to do it that way because I couldn't, like, I just had to, I got to a point where I was like uh, the conspiracy theorist alone amongst friends and family and just right. to, like, no one's going to listen. I'm just going to have to sit back, drink and watch this whole thing burn with everybody else, you know? And yeah. then, you know, later on I had a kid and I woke the hell, hell up and my yeah. God, the world was falling apart and all this is happening. But yeah, amidst all that, starting the podcast and finding Good. the box saga was 
unfreaking real. It just and Atlantis was my uh, initiation into it too. That was the first thing that caught my eye or caught yeah. my ear. My you know my friend was talking a lot about it, and then he mentions this Atlantis perception about it being a time period, and that immediately was like, oh, something outside of the Plato narrative, which right, it, right. which it absolutely right. is. It's a fucking right. narrative, right? You know. And even the alternative historians are chasing right. Atlantis, which is controversial to chase after, right? But they're chasing right. Plato's narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and, really and funny. That's, <laughs> the, the cool thing about the saga is that you have this, dude, the, the stuff that it makes your head spin. It totally spins. You're like, what? Nobody's ever fucking come up with, like, that was the first time I'd heard that it was a play, it was a it was a time period, not not a fucking actual location. You know, this mystical city that supposedly existed somewhere and fell off into the Atlantic Ocean. I right, mean, right. you know, it's all unicorns and fucking Pleiadians and and like you like oh, okay, okay, so it's just kind of bullshit. But um, but this oh, we even first- have. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 no. I, mean, I was going to say, we even have Nordic aliens. You know, how how on the right. nose is that? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so all, I, that's, that's, that's what blew my mind about it. It took away my my love for ancient aliens. I was obsessed with that idea. And now right. in the box log, I threw it all into question. And then Good. I started looking into history and it started to line up with those things quite naturally you know that was the crazy part i'm sure you experienced that where every time you looked at something that was already kind of accepted even if it was a conspiracy it was like starting to line up with something in the saga right yeah 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 it's a trip (laughs) it's funny so to kind of get back to this this piece you know you were asking about so i yeah sorry i I went off the rails for a minute no no i so i met jim we and Dude, that trip to Hawaii fucking sealed it for me. It was it was like he was living at the I you don't know Jim. So dude, Jim was living in a fuck in a shack. In a shack with 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 a extension cord coming off the telephone pole. And like his he consciously chose to live the most simple life of a pauper that, that you could imagine. And it was, it was just, I'd never seen anything like it. I'm like, fuck, dude. Wow. And and it was on the back end of this dirt road on the bottom part of Hawaii, which completely abandoned. There's nobody there. And, and I don't know, man. And so we were just sitting there and we were talking. And he told, and we, we started talking about the dig. We started talking about the dig and the temple, right? We, I mean, we spent three days just straight. I'm like, firing off questions right like what about this and what about that what about the wh- what about this and the uh, and so i had questions about that temple because i'm i was a lot like jim you got to show me okay i don't don't i get all the lip service i get all the fantastical stuff but do you have something tangible that that we can that we can attach to this story. Otherwise it's just a good story. It's the best fucking story I've ever heard. Right. Best story I've ever heard. Agreed. And I'm waiting and I'm just, I'm still waiting. Right. It's like this physical yeah. proof thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, they found it. They found it. He found it. He, he, you know, I'll loop this all back around here to Jim and, and, and why this, you know, doing this film, the whole point of it, was to be able to find guys like you later on down the timeline who are going to be able to take this and run with it. I don't know if that's the full extension of what I was supposed to do with this, this, this saga. If, if God, God or whatever you want to call it mm. said, Hey man, you are going to meet this cat and you're going to help join this thing and, and you're going to kick it down the road. Because I did that documentary, I ended up talking to uh, Peter Lax. Peter Lax, this guy who who's a friend of the saga, who came over and sponsored some stuff. And mm-hmm. Pete, big fucking shout out to you! Um, fantastic guy, and and he he's Swedish and, and and American. So so for he same thing, man. He called. He's like, dude, I got all these questions, and we would talk <sighs> for hours and hours on the phone after after I did that first documentary, but the the piece for me is the temple 
Okay, that's there's three places in Finland, like you saw in the documentary. One of them, we went to Kayani. We're not allowed to go. We can't. They did seismic. There's something down there. Yeah, didn't Government. they do like G uh, ground penetrating radar? Yeah, yeah. And there's like there's a some... box shaped freaking thing down there, which is exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. as described. Yeah, exactly as described. And the, gover the government's like, oh, no, it's just a fucking cannon. I'm like, dude, fuck you. If that's a cannon <laughs> and you dropped a fucking cannon down the well in 1580 or whatever, that's a piece of high technology equipment. Somebody's got to go down there and get it. And bring Absolutely. It back. That would be worth millions of dollars. Right. And, and second of all, they didn't have cannons up there at that at that at that northern location. There was nothing to defend against. Yeah, it was, uh, so, it was even even the mainstream history of that uh, t castle. Isn't it just a, a, a retreat for uh, nobility or something like that? At one time, it wasn't even the main uh, lodge or or, or castle. Right. Something. No. Like that. It, yeah. it, well, the name of the town is called Kayani. So Ka, the car people, and Ya. The, the, Yarl the, the, people. the Yarl people and they would get together and they would do something over there. I don't know what it is, but that was one of the locations that they went when this family had to flee up north. Mm -hmm. They had to bury that stuff in that in that location. But I, and I can't remember there are guys out there who know exactly what's in that box. Anantito could probably tell you and Michelle definitely could tell you. But I think it's like they the, have. I think we have those those pieces of uh, of possible evidence on record already. Like I think it's the crystal balls and yeah, uh, yeah. statues. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah a lot yeah. Of number of things. Really interesting yeah. ideas. Okay, and so the other place is in a place called Offerlunden, which is on church property, and I've got <laughs> friends. They've been out there, and they they're and there's weird stuff there, man. There's just weird rocks and weird things happen to people there, and Hmm. Okay, but they ain't gonna let us dig there. So the only place that that the Saga guys back in the day could dig was 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 okay. So you a story. You and me, we've known each other for ten fucking years, best friends, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I turn around to you and I say, "Hey, bro, my sister's dying, and in her will, I gotta tell the family saga." And you're like, "Huh? Okay." I go, no, a little more complicated than that. So so when I was seven till the age of 27, I had to sit down every day for two hours to listen to my sister and my mother or auntie tell this saga. And I had to learn it and memorize it. It took 20 years. All right, dude, I'm calling bullshit right there. Like, what do you? <laughs> what? Okay. So what's the story? So he starts telling the story that we had a different breeding system on this planet and that we all spoke one language. And then he starts going into this whole thing about what, you know, and people are just tripping balls. They're like, because that's Michelle's story. Michelle knew Eeyore for 10 years before this fucking thing came out. Right. And then Eeyore just had dropped it in his fucking lap. <laughs> and, and you're like, Holy crap, dude. Like, how is this guy making this up? Is this like, what the, like, this is the best fucking bullshit. I mean, this is the best story I've ever heard, but it right. completely. Anyways, man, it, it was flies it, in the face the... of literally everything. It flies in the face of most alternative history. Yeah. You know? yeah. Even the stuff that's not accepted by mainstream historians. This flies yeah. in the face of all of that, too. I mean, it connects right. a lot of those alternative ideas. Like, a lot of what isn't accepted by mainstream and a lot of us conspiracy theorists talk about, right. those yeah. are, like, in a way, a lot of times justified in the box saga, just not in yeah. the perspective that all these thousands of authors have kind of gone down the Babylonian, Sumerian path. Like, that's that ain't the beginning, you know? Not even close. Yeah, there's there's a dude you might want to check out when you get time. I don't know if you want to edit this out, but his name's Jason Brashears, and he's got a website called Archaics. Oh and, yeah, uh, oh yeah, I know, I know Jason. I don't necessarily agree with sin, uh, with his theory, but my God, it's in extremely intricate. And dude, fucking much yeah. props to you. Total fucking props to you for knowing who that is. First okay. of all. <laughs> 
Second of all, Jason, what scares me about Jason, I've met him twice now. Super cool guy. We're going to do a thing about the box saga. Oh, yeah. He's uh, a probably. really nice guy, I think. Yeah. I'd Super love to nice guy. That. <laughs> Super cool guy. Um, 26 years in federal pen, bro. Reading nothing right. but books. Okay. Nothing but books, man. And he's and he, he, he's got this brain where he's able to correlate all the dates and all this info and the math that's coming out, I'm not that smart, I, but I'm, I'm like, <sighs> anyways. Yeah. I, I, I would like to, I, I would, I can't even imagine what he would line up with the box saga. I would be very intrigued to hear that. You know, he should have been here a couple of weeks ago. He just, I met him down into town when he came through San Diego and we, we hung out and we had a, a nice four hour long conversation about some of this stuff. And we were kind of ripped we're riffing off of each other with, with how, yeah, don't worry, bro. Stay tuned. Cause this, okay. this, is, this is just about to get good. Like we're going to, we're going to find some shit out. And um, yeah, I, let's back up here a little bit to this. Sure. This I'm sitting there and I'm talking to Jim and he's saying the same thing to Eeyore that I'm saying to Jim. I'm like, dude, it's a great story, but is there any proof? And, and so Eeyore was like, well, yeah, my family has this piece of land that they've owned for a long time. And if you go there, there's this stone that's right there. And at the bottom of that stone, they say that's there's an entrance to a temple down there. That's what I was told by my mother and my, my auntie, right? And Jim, like me, I'm like, all right, we're going to find out. Get some shovels. Let's go. We're going to start digging. And that's what they did. And they started digging and digging. And if you listen to these interviews, I, we've already got it on thing, on tape. He's down there in this hole, man, and he's washing. And there's this fucking straight, 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 fucking rectangular straight lines, man. This block that's been placed down there. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. Now we got a problem, dude. We got a problem, Houston, because now that who put that fucking stone there? That's not a natural. That is not natural. Not and when you're saying this stone, you're talking about a stone that they literally had to dig like eight feet down to get to, right? 10 to 12 feet down. Like yeah, they were down to yeah. Okay. So they go through. So so Jim's like, up until that point, I was digging master. But then we had to call in the big guns. And so they got this guy to come in. If you've ever been to Finland, dude, it's nothing but rock. It's fucking rock everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's rock Okay. And, and so this guy comes in there and, and he's the number one drilling expert in all of Finland comes in there, gets his fucking drills out. And he's like, all right, let's, let's find out. Let's see what you guys are talking about here. You freaking wacky hippies. <laughs> he starts drilling and I'm sitting here looking at Jim right in the eyes while he's telling, I've asked him this story like three or four times. I'm like, tell me, tell me the story again. And, uh, He's like, yeah, we were down there, we're drilling, and this guy's like holding on to this massive fucking drill, just blah, you know, grinding into this stone, and all of a sudden, whoosh, it goes into something soft. And Jim says, I'll never forget the look in this guy's eyes when he looked at me and was like, that ain't supposed to happen. <laughs> All of a sudden, he got really interested. Okay, so a couple more holes, same thing. You find it out. They try and pull this stone out. They can't do it. Fine. Blow it out. Boom. Blew it all apart. Clear the whole area. Get down. They find another one. Exactly the same. Go down in the hole. Start drilling. Same thing. Whoosh. Fuck. Clear. Blow it out. Clear all the stuff away. They find another one. There's three stones. Three stones exactly the same, cut by humans, laying on top of each other. Okay? That's now, all of a sudden. Real. <laughs> whoa, dude. How? How? Okay, you know, he's, he, so, so he's like trying to call bullshit on Eeyore. This, this guy says, if you want to know that it's go here and start to dig and you should find something. Well, we go there in this remote place where there's nothing, man. There's nothing. And yeah. It's sure like on the enough, side of a coastal road, isn't it? It's like nowhere. 
was yeah. near a lake or something. I can't remember. Dude, I've, I've been there and it's so beautiful, man. It's, it's like, um, it's like the Shire in the, in the, in the, it's, it's so, it's so freaking beautiful in that part. Very, very, it's, it's a high end piece of property right now. It's mm-hmm. worth big bucks. Uh, that whole neighborhood. Um, and anyway, so, so yeah, they, so that just started it. And so now they're down into this freaking pit that they've cleared and they're trying to figure out where to go next. And they're looking up at this, at this stone fucking monument, man, this thing. And it was put there by humans. Yeah. Like why? Who the fuck? But if you know the saga, you understand why and who that was. Right. So, one of the guys, I think it was Kevin Woods, who's no longer with us, who yeah, authored. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Kevin. Um, I had a couple cool conversations with him. Um, yeah, he 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 kind of looked and he said, "Hey, there's a there's a seam running right across from the base of this rock. There's a seam right there. Get out the drill. Same thing. Whoosh. Drill goes into something soft." So they blow this freaking stone out. And then as Jim always likes to tell, then then from that point on, th- there was nothing but huge boulders that were packed in there and covered with this material, like a cement. Like somebody, somebody tried to close and hide and seal this thing off. Wow. Okay, now we're fucked. Now we're fucked. Now yeah. the whole thing. Now, now it's fucking game on, dude. Now so it's basically, game on. let's because I've never been able to really describe this to my listeners uh, accurately, just from my own perspective. But what we're talking about is like it was an obvious chamber filled with boulders. It wasn't just a mess that you, that they were continuously digging out and creating a tunnel. The tunnel was there. The opening was there, filled to the brim with shit. It's a perfectly on the left side of this temple is the bedrock and the bedrock comes down, makes like an L shape. And as it does, it drops down into this underneath this, this massive stone. Mm-hmm. And then there's a ceiling of fucking bedrock on top of it. It's like a perfect walkway that's going down into the earth. Okay. Wow. Perfect fucking ceiling. And somebody had packed it full and the, you know the other guy, they're like, "Oh, it came from the ice age, and all the boulders rolled down in there." It's like, "Nah, sorry, dude, way too late." Uh, uh-uh. yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. There's an no. entrance here. <laughs> Go fuck well, All they're doing, all they're doing, they're not, they're not, they're not blowing up the 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 bedrock. All they're right. doing is exposing these boulders and taking the boulders out once they crumble down. Mm. The the ceiling and the floor and the walls are all they've been cast there by fucking nature i don't know thousand million i don't know how long but it's that's real that's that's a natural formation and they they've gone down now into that cave i think 50 yards or like like some like and and there's we're still we're still looking dude there's there's something to be done with that and we were this story, dude, has a life of its own. Okay, isn't like it supposed to lead to like a golden door or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to they're just trying to figure out which way it would be to go next. Dude, right? every, every everybody's trying to figure out which way it's going to go, and and yeah. everybody, and so it it definitely goes down and drifts down into the left, which is it's going away from the ocean. Okay, right. that's what and, and it's awesome. That's what I'm picturing. Okay, and and it kind of drops down into the mountain and. As is described, know. man, like that, it's supposed to be like a spiral formation, right? I mean, yep. that sounds yep. like it's turning into a spiral. Yeah, that's pretty wild. That's wild. Yep. Yeah, it's it flip. Yeah, you look at it, and and so when I actually got there, when we did the documentary, you know, I remember looking at Jim that night in Hawaii, and and I was crying that night. I, I my girlfriend was like at the time, she's like, "What what's going on?" And I'm like oh my God, like this guy's just got this amazing story in his head and this story's dead. Like nobody, all this, all the saga people were kind of scattered. Every Eeyore had died. Um, 
it, it was just over. It was like done. It was like this break in the, in, in all this intense shit that happened leading up to that point. And Jim's there and he doesn't know, he doesn't know what to, like, he, he's like, I don't know what to do. And he seemed so fucking broken. Sorry, Jimmy. Like he was just so heartbroken. <sighs> yeah. That it was going to be lost. I, and to him, it was the most important thing ever. Right. What's that? That it, it, he was, you know, it was about to be lost forever, pretty much, yeah. or scattered yeah. to the wind. That's, yeah. And so I remember telling, telling Shannon, my my ex at the time, I'm like, babe, I, I'm gonna talk. I'm doing something. I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm I'm talking to him tomorrow. He opened that temple with ten thousand dollars of um of weed money. <laughs> yeah. And- I'm serious. He did. I know. I heard that story. It's <laughs> fucking legendary now. Well, let's just say I had $10,000 sitting around too. I ain't going to say where I got it from, but I, I had $10,000. Nice. And I, and I, and I looked at him and I said, Jimmy, you started this with 10 grand of this weed money. I got 10 grand. Call up Alex. Let's go make a documentary, man. Let's go talk and let's go find out and let's go see what's up and let's let's see what happens like let's just fi- like i don't know i don't know what's going to come out of this man i have no clue and and he thought about it and he chewed on it and he thought about it and finally convinced him he's like okay let's do it and for him that was a huge undertaking cuz he was already in shit health and um and and so and we did it man we did it we got, we we managed to pull that whole thing off and i got to go see all those places in person i got to meet all those people that you saw in, in who in the hell was Eeyore Bach. all these cool finnish guys shout out to all the fucking finns you guys are fucking badass pirates man hell yeah and 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 it it, it was just it was beautiful dude it was it was just amazing to go to to uh Sveaborg. You know, the island right there yeah. where the whole top of the pole where the eye and the whole the holy e. that that story is. A, so like, man, in the documentary, someone that like f- doesn't know box saga from a, from the hole in the wall, you know, just suddenly sees that scene of of Jim in the uh, the museum talking yeah. about the holy at for yeah. the first 30 seconds they're going to be like, what is this guy talking about? And then the rest of that, like eight minutes, they're going to be like. Oh my God. What? Yeah. It's just yeah. it's that. Oh man. That was one of them for me. That was just like hair raising, you know, it was just, oh, really? oh my God. there was many, cool. so many in the, in your three parts. I mean, the three main ones, the welcome to series, you know, uh, yeah. fucking blew my mind, man. And I've passed them around as much as humanly possible. I posted great. it on Reddit every, just anywhere. Anywhere that there's anyone talking about alternative history or anything, because I yeah. think what you guys put together really it stands the test of time, and it's really a great, great series that just speaks. I mean, Jim was so good at telling this story, and uh, just you. being there in the places, uh, yeah. being able to see the symbolism that was clearly hijacked, in our opinion, <laughs> uh, it's pretty amazing. It's yeah. Oof. Yeah, and, it, and it, it's so trippy, man, because this story continues to tell itself. You dig what yes. I'm saying? Like, like this is an actual living mythology that's, we don't know what's going to happen next, bro. We don't know what's going to happen next. Okay, we know that the church story came through, right? Like, like, and we know who's behind the church story, you know, and, and the little hat people. Yeah, they like to control Hollywood and they like to control they control banking and all this stuff. We know what they're up to. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, I don't even want to get too heavy on your shit here that's, now. That's OK. I mean, I understand. Yeah, it's the most hot and heavy issue there is. And it's like it's yeah. final boss level. You get shut down, you know. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's um, it's also very divisive because it, it turns us into what people uh, assume to be like hate mongers or something like that. And it's missing the point. I get labeled like that sometimes in the sense that I, I, uh, I discredit ancient aliens often and it leads, it leads to a lot of like, not necessarily 
only, but sometimes it leads to like the Aryans, the the Indo-Europeans, like where they came from and how their influence affected society and what we think of them as like angels, possibly like all these uh, terms kind of fit in there um, that this is also what helped the box saga helped me figure this stuff out, you know, um, but uh, yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought there for a second. No, it's all good. Man. It, it, it's crazy because this. The story will continue to unfold according to, to fuck. It's, it's got its own timeline, dude. I, 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 you know, Jim and I would sit around and I'm like, come on, man. We just, let's just fucking, I got money. Let's just go down there and start tearing it, you know. And, and everybody wants to get in there. Everybody wants to see is this, is this bullshit or is this true? We right. want to see. And, and, you know, I've had conversations with Michelle where he's he's like, dude, we thought we were going to be in there back in 87. <laughs> right. 88, and then 89 and then 90 and then 91 and then 92. And it's fucking 2023, man. And we're still, you know, it's it's hey, I mean, it's. Right. If it's the most important, possibly the most important story ever, then it's going to take a while to unfold. Right. I mean, it's going to unfold, like you said, in its own time. And I think it, Michelle had said the same exact thing to us when we talked to him. It was like every year it felt like the year it was going to happen. You know? Yeah. And and I think Jim would always call it the Erde. You know, in German, that means the fate. It's the fate. And it's in the, in the hands of the sun. So <laughs> we we can do our part having these podcasts um yeah learning the material you know there's there's an apocalypse going on right now in case we haven't noticed <laughs> you know right. it's going to be massive unveiling of the truth dude all these old systems they're dying off all their all their jab shots all their all their legal admiralty bullshit all their banking all their interest rates all their all their pornography, all, all their shit, dude, is coming out. It's, it's fuck them. They got to yeah. come in and, and people, the more we can tell people, we don't have to shout from the rooftops. It's just, it's a simple, it's like people are easier. everywhere. Yeah. And people are like, oh, you're not so fucking crazy, dude. I, I see what you're, you know what I mean? I'm having conversations with people on the street now. <laughs> That 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 I would have I would have I would have gotten in fights with, or I you know I would have been kicked out of the house, or I would have been you know ten years ago, you know whether it was nine eleven or whether it was the moon landings or whether it's nuclear bombs or whatever this the the, the bullshit. But yeah. now people are getting it, man. We we're like, hey, this Tartaria, this this flooded Earth, like all this free power that existed around here. Hey, electro culture, man, they're putting copper rods with wires down them. And here's the before photo. Here's the after photo. Yep. I got a man. We got him in our garden. <laughs> yeah. Good. Right on. See what I'm saying? Like every, I have a friend as well. Who's amazing. Uh, he's, uh, he's got this whole electro culture course and everything. I'll have to, I'll have to send, I'll put the link in this, this episode yeah. since we brought up electro culture and yeah, uh, we'll get it too. Yeah. He's, he's great. He's genius about it, but yeah, it's all there, man. And it's coming out and it's interesting too. So I, I got to ask you this. I, and it's something that I really glossed over for a long time because yeah. I was too fascinated with Atlantis or, you know, all the parodies. So like all these different times, things that they were talking about just blew my mind the language but yeah. the end of the third ragnarok right when yep. only basically the the box and the what was it the rostrum line the two last yep. lines that were around yep. um and they made a deal with the church that the information would stay hidden for a thousand years until the world was ready to receive it at least that's kind of how i've heard it multiple times and i glossed right over that i was like holy shit they killed everybody goddamn church uh! i just glossed over that part and now we look around and i was a big terrence mckenna fan and what did he talk about he wrote a book called the archaic revival mm. and we look around and all of this stuff seems to be coming back like is this like how how is it that the bad guys in the story the church right 
why did they ever want this to come out? What's your, what's your, have you ever thought about that? Cause I'm only recently thinking about it and you've sat with this a long time and know a lot more than I do. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I think, um, I think the church, the Roman Catholic church has long since been taken over by these Juno who and, and yeah. Phoenix cloud and, 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 and they've managed to use, UCC and commercial commerce to turn the whole fucking planet into a corporation and all that money goes back. Dude, I don't know. I think that at some point you got it. I don't want to boil it down to something as trite as, as good and evil or right. maybe just right or wrong. It's weird. But <laughs> I, I think you the things nature likes things in a balance okay and when you go too far out of balance okay when so personal experience from when you were when you when you were drinking getting intoxicated intoxifying you're poisoning yourself right you're yes. you're, you're you knew dude i'm just guessing i'm just guessing but you knew somewhere deep down inside this is fucking out of balance. I'm just doing this to compensate because I can't, I can't figure out how to fucking articulate all this shit that's going on in my head right now. And, 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 and uh, this is all just looks like madness. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take this one path, even though I know it's not good. Yeah. hundred percent. At some point you're like, yeah, no, no, I, I got a son. I got a child. There's other children around here who might lose parents. Maybe I'm going to have to step up for them. Like, like at some point you chose better choices as far as like the saga and why they let how, I don't know, man, maybe there was enough time in between when, when the, 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 the King of Sweden, I think that's who it was said you guys can come out of, of, you know, you're going to have to be low key. Okay. You're dealing with the mafia. I'm telling you right now, you guys are going to have to be low key. Don't talk about nothing. Hmm. You, okay. Like they're busy. They're busy raping and plundering the world right now. As long as you guys keep your head down and right. keep this low key, you guys won't get, you, you won't get your heads cut off. Right. Okay. Right. And so, so maybe that's, you know, they, so, so they split up the, the family lines and they, that's the best answer I think I could come up with as to. So check this out. What if yeah. the fact that like, I mean, the church was basically dominating the whole world, right? Or it was trying to take over Europe. I mean, it had taken Sweden by that time when once yep. uh, hell was destroyed. Um, yep. But this was 1050 AD, right? Yep. This is long, like the saga spans so much time. And initially, the at all these church bloodlines and and these these last remaining box and everyone that they killed in hell, it's still a family feud. Like, what the fuck? And I wonder if they all knew in some capacity. I wonder about where the split was away from the original information like i know it's hard to see it because you have like the dan and sven story and it's easy to kind of think of that as like two singular men and and it almost sounds more like a generational thing or a a, a migrational story or something perhaps dare i say yeah. if it's a little allegorical because that would make more sense but I, I don't know it, I, it just um i wonder is there a split in ideology at some point? I, I don't know. It's, it's just, it, it, it drives me nuts. I think about it all the time. Again, maybe it's because look at it, look at it maybe as a cosmic clock, right? We're, we're right now, supposedly in, in the end of the Kali Yuga. Hmm. That's 26,000 year, 24,000 year procession, right? I should know the number, but I don't. Um, you're, you, I think you're on or close to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So all kinds of things go through that cycle, just like you have your cycle when you were a young kid to when you were an adolescent and then you became a teenager and then you became a young man and then becoming a more mature man. And soon you'll be an elder, hopefully not too soon, <laughs> but, but, 
I just think that the universe, whatever it may be, whether it's flat, fucking round, I don't fucking know. But <laughs> things things go in in cycles and in rhythms. Okay, they they must. The tides, the sun. I mean, I it just that, seems yeah. so even epics of mankind, and and where there's maybe maybe there's some solar positioning going on you know how the horoscope right well if you were born underneath these stars you're more inclined to be like a Sagittarius because that you know what I mean like yes. like there's so maybe right now we're in this dark 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 fucking period and these things probably go on for five ten thousand years man it, it's not like right so right? basically to suggest that the church underneath it all pretending to be this this other religion, they still go by these cycles and they still understand them and follow them. And basically they were saying y'all were, we're about to enter the esoteric period where we don't say shit and we just rule everybody by manipulation. Right. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> you can come out with your story when we are forced to go back to fucking ax and sword. I, I don't, or laser weapons by that point. I don't know <laughs> who knows. I, I Whatever agreement was made between that king and and the Boxstrom and the Ross, will never. But but I think they were. I don't know. You go back. What what, what is that? Ten thousand years ago. So oh, what? To, yeah. What 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 that that guy was thinking when he went to have that conversation and what the world was like. Right. Um, but you remember the. You know, Sears talks about this vapor canopy and all this stuff. There was a feminine under the this vapor canopy. He's talking about. We had the the divine feminine. Women were doing everything. And if you listen to the saga, I know it's a guy who's telling the story, but the son supposedly he gave those the gift of 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 fire to women. He gave the gift of mathematics to women, and the women seemed like they would be more. I don't know, better suited at running the tribes and, and, you know, and guys like, it, I, I it don't seemed know. Like a perfect I, balance. I, I know it's like, that's what I liked about yeah. the saga. It seemed balanced yeah. with the father figure yeah. and the mother figure, even in like right. the, the, a lot, basically every aspect kind of sounded like that, but yet there was right. this ultimate adoration of the sacred feminine. Yeah. If they weren't here, we wouldn't be here. And Absolutely. so, you know, I, so I trip, you know, as I, I'm kind of a hard headed fucking guy and, <laughs> and I'm kind of cool. And, and, and I look at like some of these younger guys and I know, I know what these fucking small hat Phoenicians are trying to do with all this transgender and soy boy, you know, and these guys, are, we're just on there. I'm like, dude, what are you guys doing? What are you doing, man? You guys are supposed to be the warriors of the tribe. You're here to protect the old the young and the women. That's all. That's all. That's that. As far as I'm concerned, that's my only role in whatever capacity. Yeah. Is, 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 is let the women take care of the fucking, because they know shit that I don't know. As far it as it comes out of thin air, man, my wife knew shit before becoming a mother and then becoming a mom. Yeah. Do. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. And so there's gotta be this harmonious, stinking up between the masculine and the feminine and because we're under attack right now from all different angles from whatever this is man yeah. we yeah maybe the saga it, part of it is to help restore some of the balance in in in, in for, for the whole fucking planet yeah, yeah. like um yeah I, I don't know i don't know all lands <laughs> What's that? Ball Lance, right? <laughs> yeah, ball Lance. That's right. We want to be in Ball Lance all the time, if possible. Mm -hmm. And so I think we're out of Ball Lance. Obviously, the, the if you subscribe to a fucking ball theory, um, <laughs> you know, we're tipping over. And and that whole story, man, of like Jim standing in that in that in that museum, and you look up on the ceiling, and it's a dome. It's like a dome ceiling. It's got the lines, and you can put one foot in the east and one foot in the west and that meridian line right there that that meridian line drops down and goes through Crete, which splits up the greek and the roman 
mythologies, it's right down the middle, dude. Holy fucking, shit. and it comes back up, goes through hole, and goes back to the top of the ball. And then the other line. So, so if this ball, if we're living on a ball and it's a flat plane, I don't. I, um, I mean, I'm I subscribe to Saga so much more than I would a flat Earth, and I I'm still you know open minded, but. I'm going to follow that model at least until it really jerks me. Something really jerks me away from me, you know, me too. And that's, that's I, I'm, I'm look, I don't fucking know everything. I'm just some yeah. dumbass fucking weed grower here in California. Like I'm just some guy. <laughs> and, and I mean, I've got questions and, and I think any seven year old kid would have these kind of questions and we're going to find out, we're going to find out. I think, all I want to know is like, what's in that temple? Because if 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 just just the fact that they found the stones is good enough for me. Like somebody, yeah. okay, let's keep going a little farther, and it's gonna it's gonna happen when it when it's supposed to. I I'm curious about this. I haven't heard much about the sale. I know some Austrian lady owns it now. I was gonna ask you about what you possibly might have known about it because unfortunately, I'm part of a. I was invited into a Telegram group. It's a great one. I think Ananto might run it. And, okay. but unfortunately it's mostly in German or oh. Swedish. So I, I, I'm sure there's someone out there that knows how to friggin' run a translator add on into that app. I have no fucking clue. Cool. I'm not good with this stuff either, but right. um, yeah. So I kind of miss out on 95% of what's said in that telegram. And there's tons of links to all these videos in uh, either the Finnish language or Swedish language. I'm like, ah, oh, man, Yo, okay, yeah. come here, get on Zoom with me, and sit here and translate the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's. Um, but yeah, I, I don't I, know much. I know someone bought it that was Germanic or or something, and was open minded to the dig. At least I don't know. We'll we'll see. Hopefully, um, yeah. Everybody's waiting, bro. We're all just kind of sitting here, going, "Well, what do we do next? What's what's the next step?" And yeah, uh, yeah I um. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I, I know that I, I started building the expedition rig, uh, in a fucking massive truck, dude, just out of, out of, just massive. Um, no. and the idea was take that truck, drop it off in Spain, go up through, through Europe. You know, I, I, my dad's from Spain and my, my, I was born in Austria. And so I was, I got family over there and then we're going to go to Germany and then go up to see, Pete in Sweden and then go park the truck on the camp on the, on the temple site. And I was just, we were going to start digging. And then we had, you know, the pandemic bullshit and I'm like, Oh fuck. Yeah. I I'm, if, if the travel requirements are going to cause me to take, take some poison, I, that ain't going to happen. So I've kind of had to reassess and now I'm going to take the truck around the States and hopefully meet, meet you in person. Go meet. That would be awesome. Year podcasts with with him um my my buddy ben barlow has a podcast and it's all about how to get yourself into a state national and get yourself into a foreign express trust which now takes you out of being a u.s citizen and 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 there's and 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 pmas how to run your business as a private membership organization so there's all kinds of cool shit that's happening right here and I, for some reason i'm guess you know that's what the sun or uh, Uden wants me to do, man, is, is to sit here <laughs> yeah. and go interview people and 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 we're gonna put it all on YouTube. We've got an uh, Instagram page and um yeah, we're gonna show people about how homeschool, how to fucking garden, how to use electric culture. Um because I see it now. I see it, dude. Every everybody fucking getting something. They're like, something ain't right. And and, and we gotta be able to offer people options man because it's not doom and gloom dude i used to walk around wanting to fucking kill myself all the time i'm like oh my god this whole fucking thing is fucked like yeah. we're fucked and while yes we all gonna die or you leave this meat suit behind um and whether brashears is right and this is all just a simulation or whether either way i know that there's people and there's work to be done and 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 anything i can do to like wake up and help 
our brothers and sisters, dude, because we're all struggling, man. I don't care who it is on the streets you see, man. A bum on the streets to a guy stressing out in his car. They're all our brothers and sisters who are all just fucking going. And they're all in different processes of this. You're lucky, man. Yeah. You did your trial by fire early, right? 20, think 25 years ago, probably at this point. Yeah, dude. And think about all these people that, that, that haven't, you know, who, who are like, what? CNN's lying? What? The, the government doesn't care for us? What? Yeah, Who man, I'm so them? proud of people fucking waking up to the levels they have in yeah. like, two years, six months, yeah. just a year, yeah. three months, yeah. like just going from zero to, you know, a little too far sometimes, but, you know, it's still just like getting that's out what, of the, the old. Because you and I both went too far, too. We get all fucking loopy. I believed in yeah, stuff. Yeah, so comes I, back I, around. I, I thought fucking alien, ancient aliens sounded like there's not a fucking thing out there that I haven't had to go. Oh, oh, no, I was just tripping my shit out. I Oh, no. So that's not. But, but I was convinced the day before that, fucking, you know. Oh, Asian man, to me, it's not just you see, that's it's not just you tripping out, man. It's put there on purpose, in my opinion. I'm even more paranoid. The ancient alien <laughs> shit while on the History Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would, if if that wasn't there on purpose man they wouldn't have it there and and to me it's the ancient alien thing and this is a whole thing that my audience is very familiar with me ranting about but yeah the ancient alien thing is an absolute psyop to cover up at least partially what the fuck we're talking about tonight and every other bit of our human story because yeah, as yeah. every i always tell people i'm like Every conspiracy theorist at the heart of their belief is that these elites or whoever, whatever you want to call them, they want to make you feel like you're powerless. Well, right. What better way to do that collectively than literally steal away everything that was human and right. give it away to gods? We've taken right. that word and twisted it and right. aliens because now right. it's, it's a techno culture. So we need a new right. way to express the old gods. It's and not it's, with it. It's not within you. It's, right. it's, it's a fucking off planet space cowboy, as Jim likes to say. It's, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it, which is, right? It's not, it's not you. You don't have any power, which is all fucking bullshit. That's why right. we got to remind parents McKenna is the fucking, dude, all these people, you're part of the, we are part of the greatest fucking experiment, man, that's that's ever been going down dude and we're alive right now fucking watching this whole thing so i say fuck the fear totally get invested man and and like and find there's ways i'm telling you man it doesn't we don't have to do this whole oh we just got to go down with the dip and they're gonna no it ain't it uh. we millions of us millions dude look at max egan's videos lately millions of us fucking waking up to this. I, we can't help everybody, bro. And you got to let whatever you want to call it, God, goddess, Udin, you, you got to let God do what, whatever. Some of us, maybe we're not supposed to be here. Maybe something like a, like a biological organism, right? Some of us is cancerous and it's got to go away. Mm. And the maybe consciously choose and say, Hey, fuck that. This ass I want to help. I want to see. I want to learn. I want to help. You know, just I don't know if you if, if you were to fucking kick off and die right now tonight, like wouldn't you rather want to know that you were doing fucking everything you can for your son and for your humanity and for your brothers and sisters? Can, can, does that make the best good? You know, where you're like, hey man, I did. I had a gnarly five meo trip one time, which I, you know, we won't get into that. Oh but, man, but I'll have to have you back for a conversation about that for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it, it'd be a long. Yeah, it's fun, but but it was so good to die and let my ego go, dude. And literally, I had to. I, I'm like, no, there's more shit I want to do. And it was like, no, you're done. Like your time here in this fucking thing is done. You're 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 finished. And just surrendering to that. And going, oh, 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 okay. You know, it was fucking hard. But then once you do that piece, so fearing death, this is all just a ride. Bill, Bill, you know, uh, fun, uh, Hicks. Great Bill Hicks, thank you. It's just a ride. Folks. It's just a ride. And so you can choose how you want to interact with this, as Jason Brashears likes to say, this, this fucking neutral field. 
you're gonna create your own shit, man. You yeah, are. Man. You're gonna you right now, you're fucking going home. You created this podcast, you created this vision, you created this family, you you're reaching out to all these people, your fucking sphere of influence. And so naturally a story like the saga came and found you because your frequency was 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 where it needed to be. Right? Yeah, man. And so- <laughs> I feel that. I feel that big time, man. And uh, because, yeah, I, and I, I think it found me because uh, my psychedelic experiences, you know, get, above all else, uh, made me extremely. It took. So I was an atheist. And then I took psychedelics and I couldn't be an atheist anymore, but I also had no fucking clue what I was. And I learned that I didn't know. Right. That was the most important thing. And a lot of people talk that shit. And then years later, they fall into some belief system, even if it's not, you know, and the thing is, is like, I think the only way to really see the saga for what it could, how important it could be, especially with the fucking language. How do you deny that shit? Um, Yeah. Uh, yeah. is a major level of discernment. And if I'm going to be yeah. confident about anything, which I'm not confident about in many things, I have an extreme skepticism and I, I, I've had spiritual experiences and I've talked to what I'm comfortable with calling God, yeah. but yeah. for lack of a better unspeakable term, you know, but right. you know, uh, yeah, man, I just, <laughs> hey. that's, that's where I stand. Cool. So you, you, you just kicked off from my, you just the different the, the word belief and understand. Okay, mm-hmm. American Indian. Go look him up. He's got a song out. He's he's no longer with us. His name's John Trudell. God God rest John. Um, and it's called "It Is What It Is." But John, if you look up some of his talks and some of his language, some of his 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 um, yeah, he, he he gave lectures and talks, man, and he. He was one of the Indians that took over uh, Alcatraz back in the 60s. He was a big part of the movement, along with Russell Means. And, uh, he, he, John Trudell, fucking amazing guy. And he has this thing. One of the things he talks about is the word belief. The word belief means he's like, why can't we just call it for what it is? I don't know. Belief, dude, I could get you to fucking believe in Santa Claus. You could believe in Jesus. And then tomorrow you can go to Allah. And then tomorrow, then the, then the tooth fairy and then fucking pink unicorns. I believe, I believe pink unicorns are real. Okay. <laughs> and you're like, and I'm like, and, you know, Andy, Andy, no, it's for real. And you're like, dude, you just, it's different than understanding something. Mm-hmm. To understand something literally means you you it, it's it's it, you can't take away from understanding and right. so to be able to have the humility to say i don't fucking know i don't know i mean your guess is as good as mine yeah my ego wants to be right yeah I, I, we want we want answers because we're with these scared little fucking monkeys mm-hmm. on this fucking planet and, and and it's like everything's like fucking terrifying we don't know what the fuck's going on so we got to make up all these stories and the enemy knows that. And so they put little things in there to, to help the imagination go run wild and crazy. Yes. I whereas, totally agree. Whereas I think in saga times when we were in the paradis at, when we were, when we were more in balance with nature, when we were in balance with our environment, we were in balance with ourselves. We were balanced with our communities. We were in balance with this fucking biological organism from whence we were spawned. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then, 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 then we didn't have all this. You couldn't be led astray. There was a knowing, there was a knowing of, of, of like, you know, and right now there's a cancer, there's a parasite, there's something running amok in this experiment. And it's taken a little bit of time for the body to identify, you know, the to go, Okay. We, we got to muster some antibodies. We got to, you know, this isn't the end of the world. And, and I think saga reminds us of a time. Yeah. When things were radically, radically, radically fucking different. And, and, and it, and it's, it, again, it's a living mythology, dude. You can tickle your brain as you're going through different parts of it. 
the sound system, one language on this planet. That's fucking cool, man. And and there's guys, dude. Shout out to Kari if you're here, dude. If you can, if you're getting this, this Kari, he he's one of the last the people in Finland that are that are called sweet Finns. and they're the old school. They're 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 not Finnish, but they're not Swedish. But they speak what they, they speak the root rot language the original version of swedish they speak right. it in finland they speak in sweden dude but they don't know and what they're weird. they don't know its significance right they probably think eeyore was crazy for the most part no 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 the, the, oh. no, no there's only oh. 300 these last time i heard the count it's a minority of people in sweden and they speak the original swedish and I didn't know like, that, man. I thought it was just, you know, that's what they spoke in mass and nobody really knew the, oh, this, this, oh, that, that makes things yeah. thicker. So, so Kari, we would sit down and we would talk, man. And Kari, he's laughing because he, because there were guys in Sweden who knew the saga, right? Mm-hmm. And, and they would have conversations and he, he goes, you know, it's funny, dudes, because I can understand everything you guys are saying. But you guys can't understand everything I'm saying because they couldn't they they didn't know what it was. And so it kind of to me, it it gives even more further proof that this original Swedish, which is still spoken on the coastline of Finland by only a few hundred thousand people, man, spoke the original root language. And so Kari would bring dude Kari could fucking break down words. We, just, I'm a smoker, okay. So I, we would just sit there and smoke in this fucking boat and in these ha- in this house and this place that I rented all night long, all night long. And then go to Finland in the summer, man. The sun doesn't really go down. It kind of pops down for like a couple hours, and then boom, it's back up. And so it's the opposite of winter. And so everybody's still like. It, 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 it was it was just the coolest experience listening to these guys go deep on stuff and uh yeah there's there's there it, I, I i hope i can get back there I mean, hell dude hopefully one day you and me can go back there and we'll, yeah, we'll go to the temple you well know? let me tell you man uh yoke has you know shout out to my friend jock he uh he's told me many times like get over here whatever you can like you know i'll put you up we'll be good we'll go to stockholm we'll go everywhere and i would love yeah. to as soon as i can afford it as a you know struggling family man you know absolutely but if you're taking that road trip man and you end up over here on the east coast yeah you have we i will definitely set you up and we'll meet up and talk and i would love to where are you that. at i'm up in massachusetts yeah, and let me tell you Ooh. man watching watching videos of jim and you guys in finland yeah it does not look that dissimilar man uh thinking about the way the continents may have used to you know used to be and how close things used to be possibly new england yeah. looks a lot like the coastal areas of Helsinki, the, the trees, the, the foliage, every, the rocks, the granite, it's all yep. so new England. It's like, wow, this is like where I go climbing. You know, I'm a mountain climber around here. And uh, nice. yeah, it's just really cool to watch those videos and be like, man, this is, it's, we're the salt of the earth, man. We're right here. This is where so much history has occurred and it, it just, yeah. it's gotten washed away over and over and over again. And uh yeah. You know, for those who think it's frivolous to look back and, and contemplate, man, I, th- I think it's possibly one of the most important things we can do is find out where we came from so we can figure out where we're going, you know? There's those four questions, right? Who are we? Where? Why are, why are we? Where, what are we doing here? Where do we come from and where are we going? It's yeah. those four fucking questions. And the figure, you know, whatever we want to call them, the enemies of life or whatever, it just keep us so goddamn busy, man, that we're just like floating, you know, we're just like treading water, you know, just treading water all the time. So ain't no time to think or contemplate or ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, man. It's, it's, yeah. it's killer. I'm so super stoked, dude. This is almost like a nice complete full circle for me. Cause in the saga, everything's about rings, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and so, so to be able to have, you know, a conversation with you 
after you looking at the work that I did because of the, you know, because Jim took me under, it's just, it's super grateful, man. And, 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 you know, I, I think, I, I don't know who knows what's going to happen. Um, I, I hope, I hope everybody hopes we can get a peek inside that temple because in that temple, I, I mean, I'm already convinced I already, to me, the saga, I don't need any more proof. Um, you know, there was, a, there's a fucking story Jim told. I, Cause I remember I kept hitting him up with questions. I'm like, what about this? What about that? Yeah. What about this? You know? And, and I go, didn't you, didn't you, weren't you like that with Eeyore? And he goes, yeah, dude, I was. Um, he goes, and one day, I'll tell this story real quick. He, Please he, do, he, yes. He, he was, they were, they were fucking digging. They were all out of potatoes. That's all they had. Like, and no money left. I mean, these guys knew how to fucking, they were, they were, they were broke. Okay. You think you're broke. These guys were broke. <laughs> and so, Jim was all pissed off and he came inside the house and ear was sitting there on the floor. He was all ear slept on the floor and he sat on the floor and Jim was kind of like towering over him. And Eeyore never liked it when people did. He was always kind of like, ah, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, Jim's like, dude, I fucking had it. I'm, I'm sick of this shit. We're, we're just digging and You know, this is just fucking nuts. I'm going to take that sword on the wall and I'm taking it down to the fucking pawn shop. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna pawn it and I'm buying a plane ticket and I'm out of here. And Eeyore looks at him and he goes, Well, okay. When you take the sword to the pawn shop, tell him the story of the sword that that sword came from. And I'm gonna make this up now because I don't know the details. This sword came from Peter the so and so who had a battle with. Sven so and so and 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 this this sword changed the direction of what you know some and so when you tell them the story then they'll they'll know that story and you'll get money for the sword and Jim just went oh, can he put the sword back up on the wall <laughs> right and he fucking walked and he's like he, he goes he just dude you are a Fabergé egg what you know what that is? Say that again. Yeah. A Fabergé egg. What about it? It's okay. A Fabergé egg was made by a jeweler named Fabergé, and it was made for the czars, the royalty of Russia. Only you don't just get a fucking Fabergé egg. You can look that up online. They're worth <clears throat> the priceless. Whoa. <laughs> what? Interesting. I remember Jim telling me, I'm like, what? How how did that guy the only way he got a Fabergé egg and, and they had all these weird little fucking things in the house. It's all been stolen. It's all been fucking stolen, dude. All of it. Eeyore never gave a fuck about any of it. Yeah. But there's a story about the Bach family and how when they were allowed to come back, they were allowed to, to set up like inns, ho- hotels. And, and they had, they had a whole system through Russia where um, they were hospitality people. Okay. And, and, and so, so they, so that's where all the mail stopped. That's where all the communication went through and, and all the trade routes. And so they had a pretty good, they had their ear to the, to the fucking pulse of what was going on. And, um, and there's photos with Eeyore's auntie or mother or somebody, and they're sitting there with the with the with the with the czar, the family, the, right? And they're all out in the backyard and they're having tea and they're all dressed up in their formal stuff. And so, I mean, and if you know anything about the saga and the land of the rose, and if you know anything about the breeding system, the first level was the pirouette pirouette like a ballerina that makes a pirouette yeah the peace peace ring family that's what it was called they were the that was the that was the bach and his queen and and all the osser people that was that was the pirouette family the right. second thing was the rose et 
family. Rose, Russia, Rose yes. means Ruslan, the land of the rose. That's what Russia means. Yep. So all the royals and the people who were the kings and queens, they, they maintained. And then, of course, it went down from the uh, from the um, Jarl to the Carl to the trail. And so in this in this in this very specific breeding system, right, the breeding right. system which we haven't even fucking got into because that's some controversial, crazy shit. And my listeners are mostly familiar with it by now anyway, because right. I've, I've brought it up. Other, uh, you know, Yoke's brought it up. Dan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So so it took fuck, fucking get your brain around this, dude. This guy's saying it took twenty two thousand people to make one person. Right. Because because the way, you know, the fucking mala and the sperm drinking and all that shit that went up in, 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 the, in the military system of the captain. He was the captain of 10. He was the cap of 10. Right. And, and the, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. OK. The root so this is so nuts. Re- <laughs> well, how do you think you get a Chihuahua? How do you think you get a Clydesdale? How do you think you get a fucking German Shepherd? How do you get a pit bull? Right. You got to breed them. Right. Consciously looking for the biggest and the best. And so you're going to. You're going to mate the biggest, gnarliest male who's smart with with the, the most attractive, healthy female. And and we, we've been breeding corn. We've been breeding weed. We've been breeding all yeah. kinds of stuff. Man. And so. And, it, and as the and as the the saga, as we were saying before about the divine feminine, the the swans, the swans. Yes. The yeah. women would be the ones choosing the mates yep. because they were, yep. of course, the ones that they knew what to do. They knew yep. who to choose and who not to choose, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There was a whole thing to that breeding system. And, and, and there was a whole thing to the, um, um, God, we were talking about the, the, um, the way that the, the, the women, the women, the trail women got to breed up with the, with the, uh, Carl men. Right. right. And the Carl, women could go to the Yarl women and the Yarl women could go to the road and the, the men did not fucking go up in, 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 in breeding. So it's the female that, that, that the, the, the good breeding and the good genetics, obviously it's gotta be with the female. So right. they're the, they're the sacred. That's, that's why we, we, you know, everything, that's why we fucking worship these women. That's why, because they're, they're yeah, we've got the sperm and the DNA and the information, but the way that they breed this thing naturally to me makes sense. I don't know, you know, why, but that the, that the females are the ones who, um, since they're carrying the children, and yeah, yeah, it's a, it, it's trippy, man. The that's whole story- why uh, that's why they are the Earth. That's why it's Gaia. That's why it's Earth Mother. You know, it's the womb. It's the it, the the half of the symbol of the six pointed star, you know, the, the, the upward facing chalice, you know, that whole, right. that whole line, even though most of us know that from like the Da Vinci code, which was super controlled anyway, but whatever, like it's still, it's still like revealing little bits of the truth amongst lots of lies, you know? So the, you have to suss out the right symbolism and stuff. And that's true. It's always there. It's that's what goes with. It's like it houses Udin, right? It's the only thing to go with it because it's, it's yeah, it's, I'm kind of tripping over my own thoughts. No, no, no. <laughs> so much. Killer. That's what this story is all about, dude. That's it's all about guys just sitting there and and fucking bouncing ideas and wondering and having questions and not knowing and and and, yeah, and man. It, it it tickles your brain kind of thing. It's like good candy to kind of like mess around with and go, wow, never thought of it that way before. And you know, the oh, breedings. Yeah. I always like the fact that you know they always Jim. One of the first things he goes, you know, where the word tribal comes from, and I'm like. He goes, try, three, ball, ring. So three rings. It was the man's ring, the woman's ring, and then the ring in the middle where there was the fire. Now, the men couldn't yell over the fire and tell the women what to do, and the women couldn't yell over the fire and tell the men what to do. We had our own story, our own gig, right? Right. We come together, but we're separate. We come together, but we're separate. We, you'll never 
fucking understand as much, you know, your wife, but like when they have their period, their menstrual cycle, how they fucking sync up when they're in the same fucking house with their menstrual cycle. How they can sit there and convey and talk to each other because it's their sister, man. She, she, it, like you and me, we can go, we can talk and we can sit down and go, fuck, dude, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and, and chick wouldn't get it. You know, they just kind of look at us and go, oh, man, you fucking meat heads or whatever. And, 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 and it's, it's, but it's a guy thing. Right. There's guy things and then there's definite girl things, feminine things. And so we've been all jammed together. Everything's out of whack. Everything out of sync. Everything that's holy and sacred and good is looked at. You know, it's just it's it's clown world. It's everything's upside yeah, down. It's all inverted. Yeah. So I was like in the saga. The his story. That makes so much sense to me, man. Yeah. That's what we always have done, dude. If I can feel that in my fucking bones. Yeah, we've always we, been joking about that in conspiracy circles for decades, too. We've always been saying, yeah, his story, it's the winner's story. Like, we've always been doing that pun anyway. And then, my God, you find out how... I always say this when we're talking saga. Puns are always considered the lowest form of humor. Like, that's their reputation. And yet, what do they lead to? They lead to phonetics. And you ask any linguist... How yeah. like it's phonetics just stupid or is it important? Oh, it's paramount. Yeah. Before before you could spell apple, we had to all decide to agree that apple that, that it all fucking it meant, meant this. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you could just say moon, and you go, well, that's not a fucking apple. That's a moon. That's different. So before you could write these words, the the let you had to have an agreement. The, what the sounds meant and and fucking yeah it's crazy and so that's like again you have the his story his story but then you have the miss story yes and she's a definite miss story like we have no clue what's going on inside their heads you don't know dude when they start conniving and they start thinking <laughs> and, and, and and you're all looking at you like you know yeah, yeah. You, what, what did i do what did i do right <laughs> so, yeah it, absolutely yeah and that divine feminine and then you know and brashears talks about this too dude with like the vapor canopy when it returns and it kicks off all this latent fucking dna that let's let's just pretend that back in box saga times before the sun was here let's uh -huh. say let's be possible and that we had this vapor canopy and these giants and these and these women now, they, it says that they'll be able to heal using sound and touch. And and I can almost, I'm like, yeah, I, I can see that, dude. Oh, to yeah. Where, you know, the when sound of son, a mother's voice soothing a child, yeah, dude. Boom. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, like, and the touch, all, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You're sitting there and your kid falls down, scrapes his knee, and your wife's like, baby, I got you. It's okay, you know. And he's like, oh, okay, you know, yeah. cool. Yeah. So, absolutely. Yeah. So much shit we don't know. And, and, and it's just rad. It's cool to be able to like look at all this stuff now. And I really, really, really think, man, that, that we have options for those of us who want to step into this, man. Mm -hmm. um, that things, Again, there's one of the things like Brashears likes to talk about is it's just this neutral field. Do you want your life to go to shit? Then it will. If oh, you, yeah. If you, yeah. But now, man, at, as we're coming into this, all these fucking energies and everything's like whoop, fucking getting gnarlier and gnarlier. Well, what about for those of us who want who, who, who know that we can tap into something higher, who know that we have this knowledge that you've acquired over trial by fire over years when people would just look at you and they're like, you're, you're fucking nuts. You're crazy. And you're, you're like, am I crazy? Or am I, do I just have questions or what's going on? I got to listen to my intuition and I got to fine tune that you got to take care of the water that you're putting into your body, the kind of food you, we got to clean up this, 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 this crystal, man, this, this, this energetic field 
you got to clean it up as much as you can. Don't be shooting heroin. Don't be fucking drinking alcohol. Don't be eating McDonald's. Don't be fucking doing things that are base and low. Aim for something higher. And then all that stuff will come to you. And who knows? Something like this saga, like you don't know, dude. You don't know where you could be currently taking this thing in your podcast with your passion and your questions and your fucking imagination that, that's that's making rings as you lay in the bed and you're like, well, what about that? What about this? And mm-hmm. oh shit, that could lead to this. And you don't know who you're touching, man. So I, I think I think it's all a fucking cool ride, man. I think it's all Absolutely. really cool. And, yeah, man. I, and I'm really honored to to be able to finally talk to you because you like I said before, I can't say it enough. you you really put this out there. And I'm so glad that it's a full circle for you. I we've completed the yeah. ring. Yeah, that's great, man. And I hope that we do get to meet in person and I hope we can do this more often. We got to get you a computer so you can have a better time on on Zoom or something, you know, (laughs) cool. I can completely roll like this. Jim was the same way, man. All he had was this phone and he'd play fucking poker, you know, with these friends that he had in Thailand and all over the world. And, (laughs) and, and, And he's like, as long as I got my phone, man. And uh yeah, we we it's all good, dude. We're we're gonna. I got no issue. Uh, I'm taking that truck and I'm gonna be cruising out of here. I'm having a hell of a time insured in California because California is insane. So I got to do some tricks and figuring some things out. Um, I got my farm here. Everybody's doing a great job. We're 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 having a fucking blast. We've got a big olive crop this year and That's getting so ready to cool, put in man. some. Yeah, we got uh, chickens that were that are coming, and um, nice. uh, yeah, it's 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 awesome. So I'm 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 planning on coming out, and I will find you somehow, some way, not too far off <laughs> in the distance. And, and you I know what? If these- you if you can't get up to the East Coast necessarily right away, I can definitely connect you with a number of people depending on where you are. Possibly, you know, um, man, we got more to talk about too because there's another angle to the box saga that. Yeah. None of the Bacchus have really known about because it's kind of like newer information coming out from uh, a friend in Florida and he knows the box saga and he's connected it to Florida in major ways. And it's insane. Really? Yeah. And it's an entirely separate conversation but just to get your just to get your gears turning man that's what you did right you handed this to me and i've found i've found the others and the others are are spinning not a different story just more of it like further wow. down the further down the line in history close you know or possibly older like it's nuts man it's um a lot of uh, interesting connections for sure but we'll have to get oh. into that another time <laughs> Just to leave, I'll leave you hanging like that. <laughs> but I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link too after after the conversation, so you can uh, watch the conversations that we've had about it. For sure, cool. yeah. Because yeah. I'd love to reconnect with you at some point and continue this because I think that's the whole point of of this story being out there. So if you're up for it, man, this you know that won't be the last time for sure. But um, if you're down, I'm. Sorry, go ahead, man. <laughs> I think you're cutting in and out a yeah. little bit, but uh, man, I, I I know I can I tend to fucking try on about criticism. So um, if you're in time, yeah, and, and I'll dig around too. If I, I'll, go ahead. Sorry, can you repeat? You were just cutting out. I I said um, I, I'm going to try and dig around and see if I can find. Like I'll try and get in touch with Marcus, and I'll see. I'll call Oppie or Carl Borgen yeah, and, I'll, Carl. and I'll see if, if, yeah, Carl's cool. So he, we, we, we do like the WhatsApp thing every once in a while. So, um, and, and, and Michelle, I got to find out. So everybody's just probably kicking back, waiting, trying to figure out what's going on with the, with the sale, the, 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 the temple grounds. Yeah. Um, God, kind of a bummer that, that you had to go get, but, covid yeah. i guess fucked him up pretty good with with financial wise from so, an outside perspective it kind of sounded i didn't want to say anything to the group but just I, it kind of looked like the 
banks were putting pressure on whoever was holding the money or something like big time. I don't know. Yeah. It sounded like uh purposeful, like get like maybe, I don't know. My paranoid mind is like, Ooh, they, they know it's getting more popular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. And, and you're not, that's not unreasonable, dude. That is not unreasonable. Some of the, some of the fucking shit I've heard, especially about the final. Yeah. I don't know if you, you listened to that one part in, in who in the hell was Eeyore Bach when we were interviewing, um, I think his name's Avi, beautiful kid from India. I mean, this guy was, that guy made the documentary for me for the second, for who the hell was Eeyore Bach. Um, and yeah, I'm familiar. But I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've heard from some other dudes who were there and around at the time. Okay, here I'll give you I'll give you something fucking crazy. So you know that Eeyore was stabbed, right? For, for stabbing, I forget his name. Eeyore died. He revived him in in the ambulance or something. And then from that point on, he I think he sat in in his apartment for like 13, 15 years. Fucking whatever. Uh, I'm sorry. The guy, do you, do yeah. you mind? Do you mind just repeating the last like bit right there about what he was doing the last 15 years? Oh yeah. Um, he he um, he uh, he never left the apartment. He was just sitting as a paralyzed dude in the apartment. Mm -hmm. You get. Let me know if there's something that goes out in the audio so I can repeat it because I, I don't want to get too choppy. Yeah, it's every great once in a while. It's like my internet is coming, like going out in okay. waves or something right. like just, that. But for just, most just, part, you're good. Okay, so just so just hit up. So that guy, the guy that first fucking stabbed him, they tried him in court. Said, no, he's crazy. Whatever. Uh, minimal sentence. Let him let him go in a couple of years. He's walking on the streets of Finland. Okay, he's still out there somewhere today. So years go by. Eeyore's at the end now. I mean, uh, you know, he's been sitting in this apartment for 15 years. He's got these two assistants. Um, yeah. And the one guy's young kid. Or man, they're just like peas and carrots. They're super tight. Yeah? Yeah, okay, you're good. So then the third guy, or the, 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 the other assistant, man, he starts getting really fucking weird. Like really weird. Starts acting really kooky, dude, wearing different clothes, doing all kinds of different things. And they they can't, they can't, they're like, what the fuck? So the night before, and, and somebody told me this, actually, who, who was, the, a couple nights before this all went down, he was, a friend of mine was supposed to meet. Stabber number two, Mr. Murderer, right? And he was supposed to meet him somewhere on Somalina. And the guy, because he, that my friend had to work late, he didn't meet up with this guy. The dude, he met him late. And the guy was like, where have you been? Where have you been? Somebody's been following me with a camera. And they, and they keep flashing a light at me. They, they're flashing a light at me. And my friend's like, yeah, sorry, dude. I had to work late. You know, I was just, and, and kind of let it go with that. So, two days later, he had stabbed an Eeyore. But here's the kicker, man. The day before this guy stabs Eeyore, the guy who first stabbed Eeyore shows up at Eeyore's apartment, rings the bell, and asks Eeyore for a certain book. You have, I don't know, my fucking Hardy Boys story, episode 26, or whatever the fuck he was looking for. And or kind of looked at, at the young kid and was like, give him, give him the book, like whatever. And, and he went down, gave the guy the book, and then went away. Now, I personally find that to be the weirdest fucking thing in the world, that the dude that stabbed you 13 years ago shows up at your house asking for a random fucking thing which he gets, and then the next day, you get stabbed by your own assistant, who's been going goofy, 
and and, and is making claims that somebody's following him around with a fucking light and a and a fucking and, and a camera. Like, I mean, I know they got MK Ultra shit. I know they got little tools that can get up inside your head and they can put voices in your head. I know I I I it doesn't fucking surprise me at all. Okay. That but I just heard that stuff and I'm just throwing it out for whatever it was worth to anybody out there who's listening. Like, that's weird. That's fucking weird. Okay. Now your intuition can tell you what you, I mean, to me, my mind's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking weird, dude. There's something behind that. I don't know what it is, but I, and if it's all true, which I, I'm pretty confident it's all true. Those are all true facts. That's weird. So yeah. And, how's that and story? That's pretty fucking awesome. And the guy that did end up killing him, that guy, uh, he didn't he say something like he thought Eeyore was the devil or something like that? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, think yeah, that yeah. was an insane? Because like, don't you? It's crazy. You you would think that this assistant would have known that that word doesn't even mean what he's suggesting it means because he was sitting there with Eeyore all the time, like learning the story, learning the words, learning the language, learning the dev eel, the the wheel, the that whole story at least. You know, why yeah. would you be an assistant and still think that someone is the dad? Like, I don't know. I don't know what he did. He go crazy like or yeah, the MK Ultra angle. Who fucking knows, man? It's crazy. But, but you know, what's interesting is that it was supposed to be released to the world in a thousand years. Right. And if that was decided upon in 1050, then this is, all is premature. So perhaps that would be why he needed to be stopped. I, I don't. I, I think that maybe that timeline and the thousand years. I okay, okay. So two twenty fifty, right? That's like the age of Aquarius, right? That's perfect timing. Yeah, if it was ten forty nine, it it was the the story was is that they couldn't speak about this for a thousand years after the temple was closed in nine eighty seven. One thousand years when the last Bach family member when the last sperm when there was no more kids when that was the last of that family yeah the, dude, they were all over the planet and this is the last guy you gotta figure bro that if like if they could figure out how to calculate twenty two thousand people to make one person i'm pretty sure these hexa these six sisters hexagon these six sisters that were the witches, right? That that sat around using the fucking crystal ball and, yeah. and astrology and yeah. could look into the forstellum and had these fucking powers of intuition and mathematics. We don't just imagine for a second your wife on fucking supergirl steroids, like like as far as powers for intuition, mathematics, like like to where like genius level, like somebody gave her fucking genius pills and something like, you know what I'm saying? Where, 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 where these women were so advanced. Cause I think we were all advanced. Like the people, the men, we had more compassion, more strength, more intelligence that, you know, I've heard stuff. I mean, what would you do if you came across somebody with a 900 IQ and here we are dumbasses running around with a hundred and yeah, best, 100, yeah. <laughs> right. And like, and, and they're just kind of looking at us like, like, oh, fucking little retarded kids, you know, they can't help it. Like, but so, so these women probably had powers of calculation and vision that kind of knew and saw how this was going to kind of play out. Maybe mm. I, I don't, I don't know. That's cool. But it I, reminded me of like the priestesses in uh, yeah. Dune. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very, very primal, but very superior and everything. Yeah, dude. If if you, if you don't have to go fucking shopping at fucking Walmart and and <laughs> trying, to, okay, and fucking drinking McDonald's and Coca Cola and all this stuff, like, what do you think human potential could have been? That's you the know, name of the game, man. Yeah. Like, 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 dude, you, you, like, Brashears talks about, like, in this, when we had the Titans, right? Giants, and then they had the Titans, where yeah. 
Just you look at those fucking statues, dude, of these Greek gods and all these and these Romans. You're like, holy fucking crap! That's that's that that's a human. Now that's a warrior. Now that's a goddess. Now that mm -hmm. right? I mean, they're just they're epic. But but we've been all dumbed down. And we've been all and so we're. But yet, still, despite all that, man, despite all that, my grandmother always had a saying. A spider cannot spin a web so far that it can hide from the light of the sun. Meaning we're humans, dude. We were created by this incredible creator. Incredible. Fucking it's, it's like Jim says, it's the ursprung. It just keeps creating and creating. And cre it never goes out. It never will. Mm -hmm. And we're part of the process. And so whatever it was that was that's in us, in the human animal the human species the anthropos whatever you want to call us man i think uh yeah i think i think it's all good dude i think it's all good i think i think all that knowledge is there and mm -hmm. it'll be um it'll be returned to us when when it's time and you know yeah. you, you got a choice do you want to go you want to go fucking rape kids and eat eat, eat them and, and and fucking join the <laughs> Or you know, it's like Star Wars or whatever. Or uh, yeah, wanna... right. Dark side, light side. <laughs> hey, I, I'm going down. You, go ahead. You can kill me, man. I'm 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 good. We're I'm going down fighting for 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 this for team fucking truth and, yeah, and humanity. And if we lose, hey, that's cool. But we didn't. We, but we won't. We're not. It's you know. It's, yeah, it's it just... feels inevitable that we're gonna be fine. Um, that that's in, in my heart of hearts. I can get carried yeah. away. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's, it's easy to when like, yeah, so many micro problems are going on and, and I dare I say micro problems when it's like worldwide situations happening between Russia and there's all these big, horrible things happening, you know, but there's something to this that feels more like a beautiful portrait already created. And yeah. we're just in the portion of the, we're down in the corner here or something somewhere where it's about to turn beautiful. You know, I don't know. I can't yeah. describe it. It's yeah. a psychedelic yeah. moment, you know, it's, no. <laughs> but it's yeah. already said and done. Time is illusory, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we're, we we're here. We're here. We're good. Yeah. I like how we, <laughs> we wrapped it up into we're good. Yeah. It's all good, man. And uh, right. yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll cut it off there for now yeah. man, and, and yeah. we'll return to this. I'll definitely be hitting you up, sending you to some cool shit. Uh, it was really great meeting you, man. It was really great to talk to you and have you on. And I'm so glad my audience got a chance to hear uh, your perspective on these people I've been talking about for a long time. And I didn't get a chance to meet Jim. I, I did get a chance to meet Michelle and ho hopefully again sometime, you know, I've talked to Carl, but never got him on here. But since he has been doing a podcast and everything. So if people don't know, they yeah. should definitely check, check, check out the box saga podcast oh, i think yeah. it's only on spotify he's got to branch it out but um I, you know he's got a producer yeah, really, there with him oh does he really okay, well, cool. I, producer I'm partner uh you know co-host i can't remember his name but he's he's good he's he's very knowledgeable about saga and everything i feel bad i forgot his name but shout out to those guys they're doing yeah, yeah. i love at the beginning of the your first film you have you know your show someone's showing michelle the book you know, the, yeah. the, you know, Carl's book is for, is, is just come out or something like that. Yeah. Or it's just about to be go in print or something. It is great. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, we, yeah. So if people want to reach out by any chance to you, if you want to be out there, uh, let them know where they can find you or would you rather remain in the shadows? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll stick to the shadow crew for a little while longer. <laughs> I'll like, send them no, to the page. Obviously I'll send them to Sook and son to see yeah. the documentaries, man. Shout out to yeah. Alex, of course. Uh, absolutely. I'm going to get on and, and probably talk to him uh, tomorrow. He and I are always in contact. I, I'm trying to lure him over here. Which <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fucking tough because we got this fake, well, whatever fucking show going on with the Russians and the, you know, thing. So if yeah. I can maybe, him over here we we want to film a bunch of this this stuff in that that links in with saga that links in with with where we're going man everything I mean, how, yeah yeah 
get thousands of people and, and we'll see if we can charge that fucking mountain and find find out what what's going on down there yeah you got so, you br- you bring these 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 people out my way man we will all get together and and totally jam and we'll climb some mountains together and, and tell these stories up on hilltops all right man. <laughs> looking forward to it thank you Absolutely. so much God. Yeah, thank you too, man. I appreciate it. Everybody, go check out Eric Edney's work on YouTube. I'll have the link in the show notes. Um, Yeah, again, thank you so much, Eric. And everybody, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Deep Share Podcast. If you want to hear more, then hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all the social places. And remember... Think for yourself, but don't always believe what you think. Till next time. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, pacifaria. Enough, I got the point. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature. <laughs> and you will atone. What do we know? What do we know? If I know what we know, then I can tell you what we know, and if someone else knows, okay? I mean... <laughs> <laughs>